All right, guys, I want to talk to you about the struggle. And the struggle that I'm talking about is the nutritional struggle, something that we struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. It might be binge eating. It might be cravings. It might be fatigue. It might be lack of support. And it might be injuries. It could be anything that we all struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it all affects our nutrition and our health. Now, I could sit here and I could tell you that, that struggle makes you strong, but that's not going to help. The number one thing that you need to know first if you're going through this struggle is that you're not alone. Every single person that I've ever known has gone through one of these struggles at one point in their life. And if you haven't, please send me a message because I'd love to know your secret. Even personal trainers, even fitness enthusiasts, even people who are just in really good shape, people think that it's easy for them. Oh, it's easy for you. You're a trainer or you're in really good shape. It's easy for you to talk about. Guys, everybody struggles. You are not alone in this. Now, the number one thing that I want you to do is I want you to focus your nutrition and think of it as a sport. If your nutrition was a sport, so when you're losing, you lose in a sport, when you lose in nutrition, right? That means that you had a bad weekend. You binged on the weekend, right? You've been eating crappy. Maybe you gained some weight. How do you feel when you lose? You feel hopeless. You feel defeated. You feel, you just feel terrible. You feel depressed, right? You, it, it's an awful, awful feeling. Sometimes you hate yourself for it. What do you do in sports? We go back to the drawing board and we figure out where our weaknesses are. Where are your weaknesses when it comes to nutrition? Is it weekends? Is it family gatherings? Is it getting together with friends? Is it specific days, specific times of day? Where are your weaknesses? Sit down, write them down, figure it out. Next step, you put together a strategy. Put together a strategy on how am I gonna strengthen these weaknesses? How am I going to eliminate these weaknesses? And then you practice, 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 practice. You don't get good at taking a shot into the net without practicing it. You don't get good at swimming unless you practice swimming. You don't get in martial arts. You practice punching with your thumb out. You develop bad habits. If you practice bad habits on weekends over the years, you're going to have that bad habit and you need to practice getting that thumb underneath when you punch over and over and over until that becomes your habit. It's the same thing with your nutrition and your health. You have to practice good habits, find out your weaknesses, determine a strategy on how best can you strengthen that weakness or eliminate that weakness and practice it. And it's not gonna come in one day, it's not gonna come in one week, and I'm sorry, but for some people, it's not even gonna come in months. It may take a year, it may take two years to get consistent with your practices, but you will do it, keep at it, and you will win. I'll see you guys next time.